Welcome to Next Level Greatness, the podcast. Around here, we'll be talking about all things expansion, going from good to great and from great to greatness. I'm your host, Barbie Collab. Get ready for your next level. Let's do this. Welcome to Next Level Greatness, the podcast. Before we begin, I wanted to invite you to my free masterclass that is happening on Thursday, October 27th at 12 p.m. Central Time. And it is going to be recorded. People always ask, I can't attend live. Is it going to be recorded? Yes, it is. The name and the topic of the masterclass is the perfect time. It is the perfect time to start an online business right now. Now, I'm going to be talking about all different kinds of online businesses, whether you're starting a shop on Etsy or you want to begin offering courses or you're considering network marketing. It's going to be a really honest conversation. I mean, I like to go deep. It's a view of the world as I see it. So that is that. You can find the link to register in the show notes. All right, let's hop right in or jump right in. We can hop in, I guess, too. Are you skeptical about manifesting? I feel like everybody says, I'm looking for a sign, like this is a sign. But I'm not sure that people are really listening, especially the ones that are skeptical about manifesting. And guess what? Just doing an analysis of my podcast and what people like. And this is kind of the way that I am too. I'm an analytical person that has a spiritual side. And many of my listeners are also analytical, smart, intelligent human beings who have a spiritual side, but they're not like completely woo-woo. I think that that is me. And so if you're into my podcast, but you're still kind of like, wait, is manifesting real? I'm here to tell you today that with certainty, the universe, if you want to call it source, if you want to call it God, and I don't mean to call God it, but what I mean is, well, if God created the universe, you can call it whatever you want, but I refer to it as the universe. The universe is always talking to you. And the problem is that you've probably been ignoring it. So that is what we're going to dive into right now. So something really funny happened the other day. I was traveling back from Arizona and I was with a friend. I really don't know if she is into manifesting or not. She's definitely a very logical person and she has manifested wonderful things in her life. But I don't know if she's truly into what I'm into, which is the manifesting, right? Like you can manifest things, you can manifest things, you can whisper your desires into the universe and they will be heard. And if you look for the signs, someone, something will respond. The universe will use, utilize that person, the situation, whatever it is to respond. And sometimes it doesn't have to be so serious. Life doesn't have to be so darn serious all the time. Okay, so we are in the car. I'm with my friend Christine. We are in the car. And I said, you know, I'm starving. And I forgot to get lunch. We were, I was kind of in a rush to leave. And I normally am not a burger and french fries kind of girl. But after a few days of traveling and eating hotel food, I said, I want a big fat burger with some delicious french fries. Usually you can find that at the airport, right, with all the different terminals. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. And I was like, oh, there's a restaurant. And I said, let's stop in here. And as we get online, okay, we had not talked about the burger and french fries for at least 40 minutes. We only mentioned it in the car. This lady who is sitting at the counter looks at me not at my friend, and says, they're out of burgers. And I said, you're kidding. 
And then my friend looks at me. She was like, how does she know? And I was like, I'm telling you, it's manifesting. It's the universe speaking to us. And so then we go away and then we just couldn't get over it. It was so funny. But, you know, this is a comical example of how the universe is speaking to us. I have another example. I taught my class Money Magnet last week. And it's going so, I mean, so incredibly beyond amazing. And this is a side point and a tangent that a lot of times you want to manifest things. And so you imagine what something's going to be like. But if you're open to the possibility of things, life really being magical, what you actually get can be so much more enjoyable and magical and exponential than what you could have imagined. So that's how my course is going, Money Magnet. I'm going to put the link below too for the wait list. I'm trying to decide right now if I want to launch one more round before the end of the year. So go ahead and you can get signed up for that. I'm still deciding on that. But anyway, the course is going amazing. So one of the things that came up was fear of judgment. Some of my students could really relate to this idea of putting yourself out there and being afraid of what people are going to say. And so I said, you know what? I will reflect on this topic this week so that next week I really have something cohesive and I've collected my thoughts. And it's been a while since I've really had to deal with fear of judgment. I mean, I don't know if I'm completely over it because I'm human. And I think fundamentally we all want to be liked. So I said, okay, I heard you, I heard your request, and I didn't think much of it. I said, I'm going to rest a few days, and then what happens? The universe delivers a wonderful message from someone who, I don't even want to call them a troll, but someone who was very triggered by one of my videos on, I think it was Facebook, yes, on Facebook on my like page, where I was talking about money. And she said, well, it's disgusting. Why don't you stop thinking about money? And disgusting was in capital letters. That comment was obviously a judgment on me that I'm constantly thinking about money, which is not true. I am actually constantly thinking, not constantly, but because I'm teaching money magnet and manifestation, I do spend a lot of time thinking and reflecting on the subject of money, but for teaching purposes and because I'm manifesting and teaching it, but I'm not doing it in the way that she was accusing me of. And then, of course, she said that it was disgusting, capital letters. And then somewhere else on Facebook, it was a different post where I was talking about leadership and just how much I've evolved over the years. And I said that in the beginning, I felt less than. And as the years went by and I was at the height of my success, I really felt superior. I felt that I was better than. That was probably, I don't know, 2010, 2011. And then fast forward to 2022, that's not the person that I am anymore. I truly and honestly know that we're all connected. We're all part of this incredible universe and that nobody is superior. We might have some strengths, better skills and things like that. And some people might do bad things. I mean, we all do things we're not proud of. But as human beings, I absolutely know that we're all equal. Anyway, the same person decided, I'm so sick of you coaches talking about how great you are. And, you know, I'm like, okay, this is the second time that this person is kind of chasing me around, judging me. I decided what do I want to do? And I just decided that I was going to just delete and block just because I don't want, I just don't want that negativity in my space, period. And then what tends to happen is that people feel like they have to defend me or other people jump in. And I was just going to delete and block and like, you know, nip the problem in the bud. Is that how you say it? And so I see that the person, I had triggered them so much that I got blocked. So she blocked me, which was a great thing. Anyway, my point with this is that my students made a request. I accepted the request. I also whispered to the universe, please 
allow me time to reflect on it. And just because I say I want to reflect on something doesn't mean that I'm going to sit with a pen and paper and think about something. Sometimes I just put it out there and then it comes to me. And so I was presented with the perfect situation where someone was judging me. And it was the perfect food for thought. Was I, am I afraid of judgment? It was like the perfect recipe for me. So then one of my students who was in the course, it was one of the students who really wanted me to speak on the topic, and she posted publicly that she got triggered by the person that was saying that my focus on money was disgusting. And so that allowed her to reflect on this idea of fear of judgment and where the source of that is. And so it was perfect. But this is another example of how the universe is always speaking to us. I'm going to offer you one more example. So I wish I could give you like a step by step. Well, I will sort of give you a step by step, actually. But I wish I could say this is exactly the way that the universe is speaking to you. And the first step is being open to the possibility that the universe is delivering a message for you. Because if you think that that's not possible, then you're not going to see it. And I've talked about the reticular activating system, a part of your brain that acts as a sort of gatekeeper and as a filter. So if you say this is not possible, then your reticular activating system is simply not going to be able to see the signs. So when you're looking, not necessarily looking for the signs, but you're open to the possibility of there being signs, then you're going to be in that position where you're going to be able to appreciate and take notice of all the little signs that are being delivered right to your door. The second step is listening. So once you're open to the possibility is, can you keep your eyes open And so it's not being like, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Is this a sign? Because that sounds kind of obsessive. But can you listen? Can you listen? Can you keep your eyes open? Can you be curious to the magic? And I think it requires a certain kind of awareness because so many of us, we're head down on our phones. And it's funny because I'm actually in the car right now recording this. And even though I'm recording this and I'm fully focused on you, I am looking at the trees and the little leaves on the trees kind of moving and I am somewhat, somewhat aware of my surroundings. But if I'm aware of what is in my heart, what is in my mind, what are the questions that I have in my life? So I'm really conscious. I'm living consciously. I'm living consciously knowing that Right now, these are the things that I'm thinking about a lot. I'm thinking a lot about fear of judgment because that's something that I'm going to teach about next week. I'm a very intuitive teacher. And so while I know that there are certain things that I want to cover in my money magnet course, that is the module that's happening on Tuesday, I am also open to receiving a message from the universe that something else needs to be taught. So if I'm aware that that is in my field, then I will be open to listening, to hearing, to seeing signs that wouldn't look like signs. Does that make sense? And so the step is really becoming aware of what you're thinking about, what's in your heart, and then opening up your senses, all of them. And your world just becomes so much more magical. There's nothing woo-woo about that. I mean, the world is constantly speaking to us. We are animals. We have instincts. We have senses to think that the only thing that exists are things we can actually see. And I'm tapping on the steering wheel of my car is honestly, it's kind of short-sighted and crazy, right? Because what about the things under a microscope that you can only see under a microscope? That's the world that we actually live in. So I hope that that was helpful. There's magic all around us. There are tiny and big signs that are happening constantly. And sometimes, sometimes, 
The signs are little tiny whispers. They're just tiny little whispers. And sometimes the universe wants you to learn a lesson and it keeps delivering messages to you that you keep ignoring. And so you get hit with like a big brick of a thing, of a situation, so that you're like, oh, this is what it took me to really listen to what you're saying. And one example, and I'm going to leave you with this example, could be your health. So I'll speak about my health. When I look back, I see now there were so many little signs. And this is our body talking, right? Our body is giving us signs, but we can say it's also the universe. I mean, it's all encompassing. My body was giving me signs that it was tired, that it needed rest. But I was so driven and I was so in hustle mode that I ignored those signs. Well, I ignored the signs until I couldn't ignore the signs anymore that I got vertigo and I was so dizzy that I really couldn't move. And so it really was extremely humbling and as unpleasant and as difficult as it was, it taught me a different way of life. So I got hit with a brick, right? A big giant brick of like vertigo and having to slow down and fatigue. It taught me how to enjoy my life in a way that is slower. It taught me how to seek working in a way that is more pleasurable. And now I've been able to create, I want to say poetry, I've been able to create something beautiful, which is this podcast, which is my course. And I've been able to teach from a healed place and not this like frantic place. And you know what? I love my listeners so much. There is someone that posted on Facebook and she said, yes, Barbie, I love that you're something like, I love that you're teaching from a place of a healed space and not a place of being in the trauma. And I love that. I loved those words, teaching from a healed place. But I had to listen to the signs. And I see what happens. I see with people that even when they get hit with a brick, with something that happens in their life and it's traumatic or it's huge, they become bitter and they don't use that as an opportunity to grow and to become just more evolved. And we, every single given point, we have this opportunity to become better, to become more evolved, compassionate, yeah, human beings. So that is it for today. I would love to ask you to leave me a review if you are enjoying my podcast. They really, really, really matter. I really put so much effort into, not effort, it's love, a lot of care because effort sounds like a lot of work. So it's not that. I really put in a lot of care into my podcast, into everything that I do. And I want for more ears to be able to join this conversation. So I would love for you to leave me a review, especially on Apple. So again, the link to my free master class is below. It will be recorded and I will see you next week. Did you love that episode or what? Make sure to leave me a review and let's connect over on Facebook in your empowered life community. I'll see you next time.